Okay, I'm back with another tutorial and uh, I will focus on 9.6 for this video. Um, I made an, an addition to this little chart here. Um, as you know, the, the grade go from 10, 9.9, 9.8, and 9.6. In addition to uh, the scales I've uh, gave here, I also have um, used another method in addition to the scale in that uh, often I don't have a ruler you know and I'm pretty sure CGC grader does not sit there and measure every little flaw with a ruler either but you, know, you can um, keep a mental note that uh, from 9.6 to you know 10.0 each uh, there are you know a point one uh, incremental changes in grade so each tiny flaw equal a point one uh, deduction that's how I approach uh, grading uh, I should have mentioned that in the previous video when I talk about 9.8 but so let's keep this scale in mind also because a lot of time some of the flaws are so small that it's a lot smaller than 1 1 16th of an inch but you know if it's there and it's visible we can uh, use it as a scale to um, deduct the grade okay so let's start with this one. This is a beautiful copy of Spider-Man 177. And for the purpose of uh, this video, I will skip talking about the interior, okay? And uh, since I already uh, examined the book and the interior is perfect, the staple is firmly attached to the centerfold and uh, you know if you hold this book to the light at the angle at uh, you will not see any f hidden flaws as far as any bend or creases on the cover so you look at this book right here is a production related um, flaw so not a big deal There's a tiny binary test there, not a big deal. Let's see. Beautiful. That's also right there. It's a production related printer thing. Uh, there's no gloss lost there, no crease, okay? So that's not a big deal. Okay, so where is the flaw of this book? Can you spot it? When you're talking about um, any grade, especially from 9, 8 and below, I, I also use the term strong, solid, and weak because not every 9.6 are equal. Okay? So you have a strong 9.6. By that, I mean that the book has just one flaw too many to be a 9.8 but it's a strong 9.6 uh, 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 a solid 9.6 is something that I would consider you know a solid 9.6 uh, the word perfectly describe what it is it had just the right flaws and you know uh, most people would agree that it's 9.6 on a weak 9.6 is where a book exhibit maybe one too many flaws but as you know on the grading scales you have 9.6 and then 9.4 there is no such thing as a 9.5 so a weak 9.6 is a book that may fall into the range of a 9.5 if there is such a grade as a 9.5 okay so if you look at this book so far you really can't see any flaws but I believe if you hold it up to the light There are just 
one tiny ding that keep this book uh, what I could consider a strong 9.6 unfortunately you know uh, I can see it with a magnifier but under there you go can you see it right there is that one tiny minuscule crease right there let me see I can point it out right there it's so tiny you can barely see it but that's it uh, you know on any given day this is one of those books that you know could get a 9.8 but if I was to sell this book once again I will list this as a 9.6 but uh, to, to uh, differentiate it from other 9.6 I will call it a, a strong 9.6 okay and uh, just to give you a quick look at the back cover absolutely nothing is wrong perfectly square sharp razor edge corners and edge beautiful okay so okay let's let's go up to the next 9.6 candidate this book here let's see you see this tiny imperfection here at the corner that is production related um, so it shouldn't uh, ding the book that much because uh, also the first page or two you see the same kind of uh, miscut not a big deal okay so let's go up the book right there you can see a very visible slightly more visible than the other floor there's a thing right there tiny but visible and there there's a binary tears right up there okay not a big deal but this is a solid 9.6 you know I can see one floor right there just enough that and it's in a in a, in a spot that very visible that uh, you know you can't just hide it uh, or it's not doesn't blend in with the art so I would call this an uh, you know a solid 9.6 there is absolutely nothing else uh, wrong with this book as far as the back cover is concerned you know a lot of people ask me like what's the difference between a 9.8 9.9 and 10.0 and to be honest with you it's just a guess but you know uh, when we're talking about production related flaws like little chip like this at the corner or uh, binary tears that I, I believe cannot exist in the 10.0 or 9.9 .9, really because you're talking about gem mint if this book did not have this one tiny thing right here it would easily be a 9.8 in my opinion because this tiny floor here and this tiny floor up there is production related which is allowable in the 9.8 range okay so right there is a solid 9.6 okay let's look at this look cage sharp corner Okay, that's a pretty visible spine tick right there. So that's one. You can't really see it, but that's number two right there. Okay, so that's two. Okay, the rest of this book is just beautiful. Razor sharp, nothing else is wrong with it. the back of this book it is also flawless okay look at the spine on the back beautiful so 
this one as you can see if you put it up to the light you can see the indentation there of the spine right there that's one and then there's two and then there's three and actually four as you can see some of the little dimple by the spine did not break color but as you can see you know there's four potentially tiny little thing on the spine where really one did any kind of damage to the color of the cover so but otherwise it is one two and three are the tiny little dimple on the floss so this would be you know what I call you know a solid 9.6 or so because I can count four tiny flaws uh, on a book where otherwise everything else is razor sharp perfect okay so if you look at the scale of you know each flaw is a 0.1 deduction I can see this book as a 9.6 no problem